15 or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their Dolphins emerging from the Hard Rock Stadium tunnels and we are ready to go as the Dolphins get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Sports. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. to start the drive and this one goes nowhere losing yardage back at the 22 it'll go as a loss of three right away and it's second down but sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion and i think that's what we saw there and i think what he saw he thought defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there didn't even have a chance to get going Now on second and 13, Tua. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good work on the scamper by Tonga of Iloa. It's a first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Looking to pass, Tua. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten at their own 20-yard line. Here's Allen. Sliding out of the pocket. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for the Miami touchdown. 
So the defense forces the fumble to get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7 0 game. start their next drive and let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive a few moments ago they were in the exact situation but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six yeah you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the nfl you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it and that's what you don't want to do The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll try the right side with Harris. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Those are the types of run, Charles, that they say this first-year running back can provide a lot more of in the future. He made it look easy, didn't he, picking up that first down? Some have described him as a diamond in the rough with a lot of polish, nice little buffing. This guy could be one of the top backs going forward. Escaping the pressure right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. And it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intro. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. start their next drive and they're in an early hole the first drive they threw the interception that led to a touchdown so decent size deficit early on it is but i think you hit the key words early on so they have to decide do we even need to change game plan or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game yeah. 
Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Now Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And that's why he's been the first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third-and-ones, third-and-twos. That's why you draft him. Allen now on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Harris. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Fourteen nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. From the 40 now on second down. Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 45-yard line. 15 yards that time and a Buffalo first. Here's Allen on first and 10. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Singletary, a first down and more. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Bills draw a bit closer. Devin Singletary is certainly capable of breaking off some big runs, and he got loose on a big one there. And this is a play defensively where you're just looking around and saying, what was that? What just happened? You're looking at your teammates. They're looking at you. And let's face it, your defensive coordinator, he's not going to tip his cap to him. That's not how football works. But he probably should have after that run. That was absolutely sensational. get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. 